Okay, so. Hi, Neil. How is it going? Alright, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. I'm going to stay behind the camera for this. I'm just going to shout questions at you. <laughs> so, uh, would you like to just sort of give us a quick synopsis of what's going on here? Well, um, this is Jack's car, it's a three the TDI engine. It's not in abrasive shape at the moment. Um, we've got it running, but we were having some interference in the valve, so we've um, we've done the tapping clearance. We've reset the timing on it. As a result of that, it fired first time. Um, it doesn't sound quite right. It's not revving properly. So that's our next level of investigation. So I think what we're going to do is um, put it back together, get all the hoses back on, so it's not chucking all, all over the floor, which it's just done. Um, oh, it's get, just... The yeah, get the radiator back on. That's just a love square. It's a love square. Try and catch that before it's in a box. This is cat litter or um, <laughs> baby's nappy or some rag or something. So yeah, go on, fire him up, Jack. It does run. <laughs> when we first tried to do it, but it does actually run now. How long would you say you've been here? About half an hour? About an hour. There was a love squirt coming out there. I don't know if you want to, do you want to catch a love squirt on camera? Oh, now that's the money <laughs> shot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just this, see that bottom hose there? Do you want to see the love squirt, Jack? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's on the dash. Shall I save this to the end of the film? <laughs> Go on, yeah. Oh! It's more than a love square, it's a love pour. <laughs> Right, so I think what we'll do is, um, do I need to, do I need to snip and reattach the stage properly as well? Um, no, I think we'll leave that. I think what we'll do next is the compression test on it. Yeah, um, so in order to do that, we'll take the glow plugs out. Um, right then guys, as you can see, this is broken down into stages of, um, what the best things are to do next. So we know it runs now, which we didn't this morning which is good. Uh, now, it's all about the compression test. Um, but whilst they're doing that, what I might do is take you around the truck so you can see the sort of state of repair that it's in. Catch you in a minute. Okay, so classic example of a Defender floor, boot floor. That's the vacuum. And as you can see, get that out of the way. It usually lives up the front. These are the common areas that they go. I don't know if you can... I've got to take this... I've got to take that carlin off. And uh, we'll get a look underneath that as well. I'll do that. Right then, Neil, what are you doing now? What's next? Um, I'm taking the glow plugs out. And right. the idea of that is that um, once the glow plugs are out, we'll run a compression test on each of the cylinders. And what that does, that, that gives a good indication of the health of the engine. 
So for example, if we've got a bent conrod or we've got a piston ring that's slipped or broken, um, that's going to show that up for us. So what we're looking for once we once these are out is a good consistent um, a good consistent pressure across all the cylinders. If one of them is showing significantly low, then we know we've got a problem. Either it could be a head gasket problem, it could be a bent conrod, it could be a you know a piston ring or something. Yeah. Like it, it's um, it's a way of just um, assuring ourselves of the health of the inside of the engine without having to take the head off. So taking uh, removing the uh, heater plug yeah. is a direct access to the cylinder head. Absolutely, yeah. So when this comes out, what we do is we screw in an, an adapter that's going to look like that, um, right. and then we put a gauge on the end of it. Right. So as the piston comes up, it should force um, the compressed air up through there into the gauge, and the um, the number on the gauge is going to be in PSI, what that particular cylinder is measuring. Right. And uh, we want to see consistent results, you know, sort of 10 PSI, 15 PSI difference at the maximum. You know, if one of them's running at 400 PSI and the other one's running at 170, then we've got a problem on the one that's on. Right. So we, we take all of them out. That will assist the engine in terms of turning that over and it also won't let the engine fire as well. Um, and then we'll run a gauge one into one and we'll take a note of the results. Perfect. Brilliant. Right, so we've got, we got good compression on cylinder 4, we've got good compression on cylinder 1, but we've got nothing on cylinders 2 and 3. So our head gasket, we've got four sort of circular holes, and my suspicion now is that in between cylinders 2 and 3, we've got a breach in the head gasket. because as the compression is being forced in the cylinder, it's finding its way into the other as opposed to coming out of the We've got nothing on the gauge on the cylinder to and three. So we're going to have to look for that. So, yeah. And I do have a spare head gap, so with the head off, it's going to be a good change of it. Yeah. All of that, yeah. Everything, all the answers are everything. Yeah. Let's take out, um, let's take out the electrified one, that's the 17mm span. So, guys, sadly, the plot thickens. Um, we, 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 we've we've yeah. got some issues with the head gasket, so. Well, uh, it's not necessarily the head gasket, it could be something even more sinister than that. However, we got no compression on cylinders two and three. So the, the most probable cause of this is that the head gasket is breached between cylinders two and three. That's the most probable cause. However, it could be something more cylinder, sinister. It could be that, <laughs> uh, it could be that we've got bent con rods or we've dropped um, a piston ring on two cylinders. Right. Either way, we've got to strip it down further. Further investigation is required. So we'll come back when we've made some progress. Wish us luck.
You see the pattern, Jack? Well, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Anti-clockwise. Well, that one's already there. That one.